Hey everybody, Mark Grant here, former Giant and current TV analyst for the Padres. You're watching Bay Area Sports Wrap. Well, what were your emotions like for tonight? Uh, you know, a lot of peaks and valleys emotionally. You know, a lot of firsts tonight for a lot of people. And, you know, obviously didn't get off to a great start. Sloppy first period, too many penalties, and then... I thought our penalty kill was huge, gave us a chance to stay in the game, and I thought we really played a good second period. Our power play was certainly opportunistic, and, uh, you know, Cooley played really well, gave us a chance, hung in there. Um, third period, obviously, they got the push, they get the early one, so you're on your heels a little bit, but I thought for the most part, things were on the perimeter from their end of it, and, you know, we just make a couple bad reads on that six on five goal, and then a huge, huge kill in the overtime, obviously. And he was again big through the overtime, and just a great shot by Eki. What were your thoughts on the ejection? Um, I'm not out there. I don't hear everything that's said. Thought it was a little quick, but that's all I'm going to say. So, what was the discussion in that timeout? With oh, with the referee? Yeah. We, I just you know asked him what his thought process was. Well, no, I meant when they you know when they took the timeout, you had the whole team there, and I know Cooley went over. Two of you guys had a little discussion. Oh, there. for the four on three. Yeah. Oh, we were just talking about maybe a little bit different way to kill it. Uh, maybe cut it, cut off the top a little bit, which we did. Just a little bit of an adjustment on the uh, kill. So was there any thought? Because we were debating on who the defenders are and who are, who are taking the shifts. Why not have Lassig on one of the shifts? We we're just curious because it was a it was a tough call there. But we just felt the other guys were ready Five to go. Five defenders. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we, the other guys were doing a good job and they were fresh, fresh enough to roll them. Say about uh, Devin here. Um, you know, they tie the game late. You know, just a little bit of a here we go again. But you know, you know here he you know, kind of overcomes up a burst in yeah. here, right, to pull it out. Yeah, it was. Uh... You know, really proud of them. I mean, you know, we bailed, we left them out to dry on that goal, and you know, we get a penalty in the start to overtime, and you know, but we did a good job killing it. But obviously, if you're going to do a good job killing it, your goalie better make saves, and he made saves. He made some really good ones too. You know, Luke kind of makes that hit and then gets into the fight, and kind of skates by the bench and tells guys, hey, "It's time here to, to get going." And wish that left the team. Listen, I said between second and third, I mean, we, we need more people doing that. And I'm not saying fighting. I mean, playing with an edge and, you know, being all in. And, you know, to me, it can't always be him, right? It's got to be other people, right? And, you know, on top of being a good player, that's what makes him such a valuable player for us you know, or any team that he's on. And he's been that way his whole life. And just, I mean, it's him every night. Every time we need it, it's him, you know. And, you know, don't under underestimate the impact he had on this game, even though he may not have been on the score sheet. So after they scored late in the third period, is there anything said on the bench? Do you say anything? Well, there's only a minute plus to go, so yeah. just you, know, you got to manage the situation, have your next best shift. What do you think of Colin Graff tonight? Kind of lost in the shuffle. Yeah, but you know, I thought always in the right place, poised with the puck, smart, good stick. You know, it's not always about you know wowing everybody in the National Hockey League. It's about and I've said this, how bad you're bad or, you know, it's okay to go out there. Not a lot happened that's going to happen in this league. And, you know, in a funny game with the penalties, you know, there was a lot of special teams tonight. He was on the, you know, second power play, you know, but they didn't get a lot of time. And then the penalty kill, obviously. So it was a little bit of a, a disjointed game that way. But I, I liked what I saw. Over the like last you... month, uh, the power play has been uh, particularly productive. Um, what can you take from that that maybe, you know, can go into next year? Well, Wise has done a phenomenal job with it. You know, we were a very young power play, and, you know, you guys have all touched on, you know, our personnel, how young we are, and to be able to be where we are in the league is a real testament to the job he's done. And these guys, you know, are, are coachable, and uh, we've been opportunistic too. Uh, sometimes it's not the prettiest power play from time to time, but at the end of the day, it's about scoring goals. And, you know, for a long time here, for two months, we've, we've done a really good job statistically. Uh, scoring on the power play, and uh, you know, Wise has done a hell of a job with it. it. Looked like you put Henry Thrun out there with with Graf on the first shift. Was that planned, or is it just a rotational thing? Uh, just a rotational thing. Yeah, Devin mentioned that you know, going to that third period this time around, he was like, you know, there's no future, there's no future, and then was no, not to overthink it, right? Right. Could you tell on the poise that he had in that third and overtime? Yeah, you could see he was the same guy he was in the first two periods, and you know, that's listen, learning in the NHL is not easy, and. You know, that's what this is all about. You get in here and, I mean, no matter how old you are, you're learning, right? Coaches are learning, players are learning, and, 
you know, when you go through something for the first time, you're going to look over it and look back. Oh, I could have done. I should have done this differently. So, you know, uh, good for him. It's been such a long season for you guys. Tough season, obviously. Um, for especially for the young players, I asked William this question. For the young players, you know, how rewarding is it when like this is so? This is what it can be. You know, if you do things right and so on. It, it goes a long way, right? You, you, you got to have some success in order to verify the what you're doing and. You know, to be able to come back and, you know, win the game tonight the way we did and, you know, again, sluggish first, but came back and played a much better second and third and, you know, it felt really good to win tonight. There were a lot of milestones tonight. How important is it to keep that energy going into tomorrow night's game? Big, right? We want to finish strong here, right? We want to finish strong and we want to win some hockey games. We want to feel good about our effort, physical and mental effort. So, you know, we don't have a lot of time to turn around here. we got to be ready to go tomorrow. Hi, this is Danny Miller, public address announcer for the San Jose Sharks, San Jose Earthquakes, and the San Francisco 49ers. And you're watching Bay Area Sports Wrap.